Hey guys, it's Tom Shu here and today we're going to be doing a Lightroom tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to deal with dust spots on your sensor. That's right. I've been commissioned to do a large print for an executive at Bellagio. The only stipulation was it needs to be a picture of Bellagio. It needs to be about a four foot wide print by two foot tall. So it's a four foot by two foot print and I can do anything I want. So I decided to go with HDR. Let me show you what kind of what I'm going for. This will be the print it's a little oversaturated however it's close to what I'm talking about now when you have these large prints that people can walk right up to on the wall they can examine any imperfection so when it's something is really small like a 4 by 6 a dust spots not really that noticeable when you have a 4 foot wide print every square inch of the print is going to be analyzed or at least have the potential to be analyzed so what they've done in Lightroom 5 is they added this new feature that allows you to identify your dust spots but really it's not a new feature at all. It's a feature that's available in every version of Lightroom that I use. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We're going to go into the develop module and we're going to come down here and I'm going to throw some sharpening on here. This is just to demonstrate how to find these dust spots. So what you have here is you've got sharpening and then you've got masking. If you hold down the alt key and that's the option key on the Mac, look what you get. You get this edge detail mask. Now, if you look in the sky over here and over in here, you'll see these two spots, okay? And this is how I used to study my images before Lightroom 5. But you see that those two dots? There shouldn't be any edge detail in the sky that's out of place. And those two spots are out of place. Those are sensor dust marks, all right? Let me reset my sharpening because I don't want to do that. What they've done in Lightroom 5 is if you come over here to your spot removal tool, down in the toolbar they got this visualize spots does that look any familiar to you it's the sharpening masking overlay okay it's showing you all the edge detail and instead of having to hold down the alt key it's got it's like it's locked on and this is the the masking feature what it does it lets you hide or show that masking detail cuz obviously if you got it turned all the way up sometimes that noise will get or those dust spots will get covered up so now that we've identified where these spots are we can deal with them pretty quickly. Now I'm going to zoom in to do that when in this mode. I'm going to hold down the space bar and I'm going to get that plus symbol you see there. I'm going to zoom in, except I'm going to zoom in right over top of my dust spot here. Okay, so there's our dust spot. And you see this brush size, you can increase it here, here. However, instead of trying to mess with it, you can overlay it and then use the bracket key and make it a little bit bigger than what it is. And you click on it. And it finds a surrounding area that's got the same detail and it makes a clone of that area. Okay, so I'm going to hold down the space bar and I'm going to zoom back out and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to zoom in here on this spot. Okay, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Okay, and I'm going to click that and it's going to make a clone of that area. Okay, so there we have the before and the after. It's that simple. This visualize spot is applied a different way uh, with this new feature inside Lightroom 5 but it's always been there it's the masking for the sharpening so that's it I hope you guys find this helpful there's a real world example of how I'm using the new tools in Lightroom 5 to make my life a little bit easier as I prepare this this print for a job thank you all for taking time to visit today until next time we'll see you soon